Welcome to Living Water Ministry Sunday service. God is spirit and is worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. Amen. Okay, please stand up. Let's worship God together.
hand. Just voices. Love, it is a firm foundation. I will put my trust in you alone and I will not be shaken I will build my life upon your love it is a firm foundation I will put my trust in you said love your neighbor but the meaning is not only accept understand everything no the meaning is that include correction correction yes we need to learn and read the word of God understand fully with the Holy Spirit's help and we must tell to the people what is the truth? What is the false? Father God, thank you. We confess that my life is belong to you. I will live my life. I will live my life for you. Father God, now we listen to your message. Holy Spirit, come. In this place, come in each and every one. In Tampa, Florida, or Saginaw, Michigan, in Seoul, Korea, wherever, who watching this worship service, that place is the holy ground, holy place, because your children worship you in that place. Father God, please, Use this precious your children. And now we listen to your message. Everyone receive it. Say amen and take this message. It is from you what you say to us today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for always being with us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated.
할렐루야. 앤투 a 이스 애나 헬 파워 미니스트리. 땡큐 애나. 예, 투 a 이스 크립처 이스 Today's scripture is Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 to 25. Oh, Anna, please. Okay. I will read it for you. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's lips and then closed up the place with the flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the lip he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called a woman, for she, I can see, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked, and they felt no shame. May the grace and peace of the Lord be with all who worship with us today. Yeah, we are talking about God's creation, right? Today is the last part of the In the Beginning series. So I would like to share the blessing of God under the title, a suitable helper, a suitable helper. Let's leave you the previous sermon briefly. Yeah. Think about it. I think, I hope that everyone remember the previous sermon. God created heavens and earth with His words for six days, and He rested on the seventh day. God prepared everything for humans and delegated them with authority to rule over the world of creation, right? But humans had broken God's command not to eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They broke His covenant. They lost the opportunity to ask God for forgiveness and instead put the blame on God for their fault. Nevertheless, God loved humans who created in His image. So, God made a new covenant. That is the salvation of human beings through the offspring of a woman, who is Jesus Christ. Since then, God has been working for humans without rest. The sovereignty of the world, the sovereignty of the human's life is in God. When the sovereignty of our lives is not God, we, the children of God, will be corrupted. Corrupted. Do you admit that God has the sovereignty of your life? Amen? Is Jesus Christ your master? Amen? I bless all those who answered with amen, accepted in the name of the Lord for God's abundant grace. So let's read the, today's scripture, Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, 20 again. The Lord God said, 
it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, there was its name. Verse 20, so the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. Yes, God made the man. God made Adam first. In the text, the Adam, man, gives names to all the animals, right? I think God felt sorry for Adam to be alone when he saw this. Did God want Adam to manage the world created by God alone? Do you think that? Was there only a man and no woman in God's original plan? Everything God does has a reason. Reason, yeah, he has a reason. God did not want to let Adam live alone from the beginning. All the animals would have come to Adam in pairs. How did Adam feel when he saw it? I think, yeah, he might have thought, oh, all those animals, lions and tigers and birds and they have pairs, but I'm alone. I'm alone. Uh, there are many people living alone in Korea nowadays. Uh, that's why there are so many people who have pets and, and dogs. Dogs are especially precious to elderly people who live alone. Do you have dogs? Any pet? How many? One? One? Your grandma loves that dog, right? No? <laughs> yeah. But uh, they are only alone, the elderly people. They are less lonely because they have a dog yeah, next to them. That's why the elderly people love their dogs and pets. They stay together. To those elderly people who is live alone, the dog, a pet, must be very, very precious. Right? Do you think that? I think, I think the reason that God left Adam alone at first contains God's intention to value the woman Eve, who will come. So, Adam said this to the woman God made, verse 23. The man said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. I told you last Friday, what, who is, the, what is the God's latest creature? Yes, woman. Woman. Yeah, woman is God's masterpiece. I'm sorry, Gavin. We are not. Woman is God's masterpiece. So how precious is a woman to Adam? For those who are currently single, single, don't be discouraged. Oh, why don't I have a boyfriend and girlfriend? Don't worry that. God is preparing to give you the right person. Amen? Amen, right? Yeah. Verse 24, go back to slide. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Yes, this is, this is the definition of a marriage couple that we have to keep. We have to keep. The home, the family begins with this. 
In Genesis chapter 1, God said to humans, Be fruitful, fill the earth, and rule over the ground. This cannot be achieved by a man alone, right? That's impossible. Can humans clone themselves? Is it possible to clone humans like that and fill the earth? Man and woman meet and become husband and wife to cherish, respect, love, and cooperate with each other. They give birth to children and raise them and take God's work together. This is a human's life. This is a human's life. I prayed for my wife since I was in sixth grade. Yeah, maybe 1990, I think. Yeah, that winter, I went to a church retreat. At the time, the pastor who came said this to the students during that sermon, during the sermon, but that retreat is not only my church. It's uh, several churches united, and, and their middle school and high school students, and all together went to retreat, in winter retreat. I can't remember uh, anything about that sermon, but I only remember that the pastor said, from now on, you must pray to God for your future spouse, future children, and family. Oh, it's impacted me. So I accept it. I take that. I took that. So I've been praying since then. I pray for my wife. Yeah. She went on a business trip to Michigan. So maybe she's watching this yeah, service. I hope that. Yeah, I pray for my wife and uh, my precious daughter every day. Yeah, also I pray for you every day too. And I'm praying for the second child, second child that God will give me. I believe that, so I pray that. Did I just pray but live like the people in the world? No, no. Yes, I, I wondered uh, for a while when I entered the college, but I have never had a physical relationship with another woman. I protected myself for my future wife that God would give me. Yes, I did, I did. Me and Alicia, we are also a married couple based on the trust of both parents. We registered our marriage first, and then we got married in the Yoido Full Gospel Church. I had to go to America to meet uh, my wife's family, but it was hard to get a Visa because I was a student. Nowadays, is a uh, in United States and Korea, they uh, we don't need a visa to visit. But at the time, I without visa, I couldn't visit to America. So both parents, both side parents, uh, praying and we registered our marriage first. So my wife's parents and family, without knowing my face and my personality, they trusted my wife. We prayed and decided to get married. It's been more than 15 years since I've been married, and my wife knows me so well. Yeah, she knows me so well. Of course, I think I know her, my wife, well, but she seems to know me better. And we are becoming more like each other. We may not be a perfect couple 
or good role models in the eyes of others or non-believers. But at least, at least, we want to become a good role model, good couple in the Lord to my children. Because in this era, many couples are breaking up and their families are breaking up too. It's because children receive all the bad effects of the broken the family. This is because we have to protect the family. What God said, what the Bible said. Nowadays, it turns to legal things to go completely against God's order of creation. The word says the definition of marriage is that two people get married instead of a man and a woman. Here the two people include man and man and woman and woman or other can get married. When I did jail ministry, there were people who liked the same sex, same gender. There is something I really, really don't understand about people with this tendency. Listen. It is that in the relationship between two people of the same gender, but one person plays a male role and one and other person plays a female role. I don't understand. Of course, I may not understand because I'm not that type of person. Some people want to change their gender, their sex. I will talk about this issue later through the sermon. So I'm praying and I'm preparing, I'm studying about that. So, coming soon. What we need to keep in mind is that these images go against God's order of creation. These days, however, there are so many people who admit things that are against God's will, saying they are Christians. Those people are not Christians. They are people who use God for their own purposes and their own desires. If any of you are watching this sermon, this message, please repent and return before it's too late. Please, please. I want to talk about the church. The reason why God made woman is that there is no one who is Adam's helper. God's work, God's ministry is not done alone. The children of God are doing it together. So we call the church a community of faith. This is because people who believe in Jesus Christ gather and do God's work. If you have any difficulties, who do you look for? You look for someone to help you, right? You look for someone to help you. There are people in our church who are in a difficult situation now. The church knows their situation, circumstances, and doesn't ignore it. We not ignore that. The church prays for them, and we try to help them in one way or another. Can the pastor handle it by himself? No, cannot do that at all. Cannot do that. The older church members, saints, are taking care of it together. This is a church. Yeah, four weeks ago, you remember that, a pipe busted in the, the bathroom of our church. Then the church was flooded on Sunday morning. Do you remember, right? 
the whole church work together to solve the situation. Yeah, so Gavin and James, me and Alicia and Jenny, after the one o'clock service, this service, yeah, yeah, we bring the shop box, shop bags, and we, yeah, clean then, extract the water from the carpets. Yes, we did, we did. It is a church. There are uh, saints, church members who online worship because of COVID-19. But some of them come out alone on weekdays to help out the work. If something happens to the church, yeah, last Sunday, yeah, Gavin cleaned that our that t- table, right? Yeah, that's a church. Why do we offering? Why do we offering? We thank God for the grace He has given us, and we offer with the confession that all materials came from God. I once felt that the faith of our church members was great. Even if they can't in-person worship because of coronavirus, but they always give an offering and tithe. With this offering, our church can take the tasks that are entrusted under the COVID-19 situation. However, people in the world, they mark our faith. They say the church is going through in-person worship to make money. No. Listen. Whether it's online worship or in-person worship, you can worship in the spirit and in church in your place. Think about it. Is it wrong to give our offerings to God during the worship service? Or is it wrong not to offer it to God? Of course, there are some people who cannot give an offering to God, the money to God, because of their financial difficulties. The offering you gave is also being used for these people. For these people. Look at the people who are next to you. Look at the people who are next to you. Yeah. The people who are next to you are the people who need to build the kingdom of God in this world with you. Amen? Amen? God wanted the humans to use the Sabbath time given to humans for God. God wanted the humans to eat the fruit of the tree of life. And be with God forever in the Garden of Eden, a space He had prepared for humans. God wanted the humans to live, keeping in mind that God has sovereignty over the world and humans' life. Whenever humans looked at the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God wanted the human to live obediently to God. God wanted men and women to help each other and live for God's work. God wanted the humans to rest with their father as a child of God, not as a slave of God. However, the intention of God's order of creation was broken by humans broke the covenant. Dear brothers and sisters, humans' corruption begins with the contempt of God's day, Sabbath, and Sunday. It begins with the giving time to something else instead of God. 
if Sunday worship is broken in your life, God's authority is broken in your life. Such the people forget that God is sovereign in their lives. Such the people live according to their will in this world. They just going to live following their desires. When a person judges a person, he or she determined by looking at where he or she usually stays and what kind of person he or she is associated with. Without God's grace in your life, if you do not place in God's grace, you will be in a place God hates. If you don't have God's word in your life, if you don't value God's word, your spirit will die. If you do not participate in the build of the kingdom of God with the people of faith, and if you live only as you wish, you will have more days of being annoyed, angry, and stressed by countless problems that do not go your way. The decision is up to you. It's up to you. But God wants to raise you up. Yes, God wants to raise you up. That's why God ordered me to prepare the living water ministry and start this worship in this church, in this area. I cannot do this alone. I need your help. I need your favor. Yes, please help me. Please help God. Please help this ministry. For all who worship this service, to everything you can do bear the work of God. The reason why God made us meet is that is you. You are sort of a helper, helper to fulfilling God's work. Who is our helper? Holy Spirit. Yes. He's more than a suitable helper. But you need to ask. Pray to Holy Spirit. Pray. Ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, touch your heart. And I guarantee that He makes you raise up your power and authority to overcome in your current situation. I bless and pray in the name of the Lord that you and I who help each other in the Lord and become one and take manage all the things that God has entrusted. Amen. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we praise you we honor you. Yes, you deserve the, the glory and honor. Father God, thank you. Thank you for preparing everything for you, for us. Father God, we confess that because of your grace, we live lives in this world. For we lived many times for something other than you. Father God, we confess our sins that please forgive us. Father God, we want to share the, your grace and Jesus' blood to our neighbor, not just us. Father God, thank you. Thank you for letting me to your works at this. Assembly for Gospel Church of Tampa. I cannot do your work alone. Please train and use all of us so we can build the kingdom of God in this world together. Please make us a suitable 
helper for each other. Holy Spirit, we confess that you are more than a suitable helper for us. Thank you for always sing. Always help us. Please give us power and, and encourage for our church and our members to endure this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Let us all be armed with prayer, the word of God, and the Holy Spirit so our church can fulfill the reveal that God wants and God's work. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for always being with us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. It's a, now it's time for intercession prayer. So let's pray for our nations and America and Korea too. And also think about today's message. Yeah. So pray for today's message. We are child of God. We are children of God. We are a suitable helper for this church, for your friend. Especially, we are a suitable helper to our God. And you know that many our church members, they have a disease and sickness. Also, some members have a trouble. Especially the Kwan Shinhae Jipsanim, the Tara's mother, and also Imeon Jipsanim, Mian Lee. They have a cancer. Please pray for them. And if one of your family members or friends who had a who need the healing, please pray for them. Let's pray all together, Heavenly Father. Father God, we need your help. Holy Spirit, come in this place. Father God, we pray for our nation. It's America and Korea too. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what can we do? What should
cross where I foresaw the light and the burden of my soul Lord away it was there by faith I received my sight now no longer I but Christ in me Father God thank you Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. We confess that you are my father. Yes, you are my dad. Holy Spirit, touch my heart. I want to share this heart, Dad. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Adam and Eve, they lost to ask forgiveness. Ask God for forgiveness. You don't, you never lost the chance to ask God the forgiveness. Also, forgive people who make you harm. Father God, thank you. Thank you for loving us and guiding us. Thank you that you received our worship. Father God, we love you. We, we want to live as the children of God in this world. And we want to build the kingdom of God in this world. But we cannot do by myself. I cannot. But you made that. Send the Holy Spirit to us. And we meet together. Yes, we are a sort of help of each other. Father God, we don't want to go past. We don't want, we don't want that live a old life. We believe in Jesus Christ. We are a new person. But Father God, still many people, they wandered in this world. Father God, please use us and make them to come back to you. Father God, we give offering to you, Lord. Please receive this offering and bless this offering and bless each and every one. And use this offering for your kingdom and glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for always being with us. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of Almighty God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all God's children from now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. God loves you so much. You are never alone. You are never alone. You are a child of God. God bless you. See you next week.